Hello everybody, I'm back again. This is a requested video for my friend Farron. Hi Farron. Um, we both have high porosity hair and we like to exchange uh, products that work for us um, to give suggestions to one another to see um, if, you know, for new things to try. The thing is, is that like I hear a lot of people ask questions like um, I hear a lot of people say, um, what are good products for 4C hair? What are good products for 3B hair? What are good products for this type of hair? Hair typing is only a small part of the issue. You can have the exact same type of hair. We can both be 3Cs and you like this product and it does absolutely nothing for me. Porosity, density, thickness, whether your strands are fine or thick, um, whether your hair is thin or, or dense, um, your porosity, whether it's high or low, um, will make all the difference. And so you can both be 4A and one has high porosity, one has low porosity, so the products you choose will, you know, not work for the other at all. Um, so you have to get to know your hair. The most important thing is to, because this journey is all about you and no two people have the exact same hair. So the, in order to save yourself a lot of time and money in investigating and buying products, it's best for you to figure out the levels of your hair. I'm going to link some videos in the description box by Denim Pixie who talks about porosity, dew points, and all of these things that will help you learn your hair. So on to it. I am, I am high porosity which means that my hair absorb, absorbs water quickly but it also re releases the water quickly so we tend to be really dry. Um, we are always losing moisture so we have to find things to uh, keep moisture in our hair. Our cuticles are lifted instead of smooth most of the time so um, high porosity hair a lot of times is frizzy hair um, and we need um, things like uh, proteins to help fill in the holes and fill in the gaps. Um, there are different types of proteins. Denim Pixie also has videos on different types of protein. Um, but there are different types of proteins because you can be sensitive to one protein, not sensitive to another. I know a lot of people are sensitive to wheat protein. I am not. Um, and some people can't use keratin or silk or whatever. There's all different types of proteins that can help you with your elasticity help you with strength of your hair and to help you with your porosity issues to help you retain as much moisture as possible. So this is going to be pretty big video so I'm going to get on with it. Um, starting with cleansers. Um, cleansers are not really a big deal to me. Um, I really haven't found any cleanser that you know people I've heard people say that it's moisturizing or whatever cleansers are almost pretty much cleansers as long as it doesn't strip my hair raw. I'm fi pretty much fine with it, but I do have um, a couple of things that I do like to use. I do like to use the Kinky Curly Come Clean um, when I feel like I have some buildup, when I feel like things are getting out of hand, I like to use that one. I also like my shampoo bars um, from Bobine. I have the Ayurvedic shampoo bar and I have the Coco Rasool Clay. These are detoxifying, um, also enriching, nourishing bars. For my hair because once again with my hair it loses it can lose everything quickly so I need to replace I try to make sure all of my products have something that is that are going to replenish my hair in some sort of way um, rinse out conditioners um, not big on those either although I do use them um, I do like the uh, Trader Joe's tea tree tingle very nice it does tingle the scalp um, it uh, softens the hair. You can detangle with it. Um, it, it with it with the uh, tingling from the uh, tea tree and eucalyptus in it. You get a nice uh, feeling to the scalp. It also will help stimulate growth. Anything that tingles on the scalp will stimulate growth. So I like that. Um, I do love this VO5. Nice, cheap on the ground. So is the tea tree tingle. They're both very cheap. Tea tree tingles about three dollars. Um, this you can get at the dollar store and on sale at 69 cents a lot of times in different places but the tea therapy is great for detangling it's like butter it's just like my hair is immediately soft if I have a bad hair day or I've been in this puff for too long I will put this in my hair and I have no problems whatsoever 
um, on to deep conditioners, which is going to be the biggest of my, I love deep conditioning, it's my favorite thing, it's where I replenish, strengthen, and uh, repair my hair, I feel that that's what deep conditioning is all about. Um, I do love the purification mask from Shea Moisture. This is uh, detoxifying as well, so it can be used on the scalp as a cleanser, as well as uh, a deep conditioner. Um, smells like bananas, weird bananas, but it has a banana based smell to it, has clays in it and things, works really well, um, love that. Um, of course, everybody from all my videos, you've heard me talk about the Bass Cacao Bark for my shedding and my root area. I've also also already mentioned the Blue Rose Beauty, Cocoa and Rasool Clay, love that. Um, I also love the Pura Body Chocolate Hair Smoothie. Um, this one I love, it, I can use this as a leave-in too. This one does have some protein, it has a wheat protein in it. So um, I always, um, I like to have things in my rotation that have a shot of protein because um, I don't want to do heavy protein treatment um, but this has protein a little further down the list it's not considered necessarily a protein treatment but there is protein in it and it does help make the hair stronger um, for protein my absolute favorite is the curl junkie repair me this is keratin keratin is very high on the list it is the building block of the hair a lot of people confuse keratin because of the Brazilian blowouts. They think that keratin is going to straighten the hair. It's not exactly the keratin that straightens the hair. It's the other chemicals and all of another thing that is that is in most of your um, straightening products is formaldehyde, which of course kills and will help straighten the hair and keep that permanent straightening. It is not so much the keratin that straightens your hair. It is the chemicals and the process of heat with those chemicals that will straighten the hair. Other than that, keratin is an excellent protein because it is the building block. It can, though, be too strong for some. However, this protein treatment is the bomb because it does not leave your hair hard in any way. Most protein treatments leave your hair feeling hard. Um, with this, you almost feel like you don't need a moisture treatment behind it, but I use one anyway because um, it is a protein and I'm not trying to get a protein overload um, under any circumstances, but this will actually soften your hair. You can detangle with it. You're almost, uh, it's so nice that you're almost wanting to leave it in, but it is a protein, so you do not want to use this as a leave-in. This does not come in a pump. I added the pump. I buy pumps, cut them down, and save pumps from other bottles that I have um, in order to turn any bottle that I have that is a squeeze bottle into a pump because I prefer pumps. They're just easier for me. Um, as a my um, most loved uh, moisture treatment is the Curl Junkie Curl Rehab. And I have this in the uh, strawberry ice cream scent. Very nice scent. By the way, the um, Repair Me has like a coconutty scent. Um, this is a very nice scent. I want to get the big huge when the next curl junkie sale comes along I want to get a great, great big bottle because uh, this is a life saver this one especially if you color treat your hair if you have problems with dryness this can be used as it's it's expensive it's twenty dollars so you do want to you know get good use out of it it can double as a leave-in as well it is a great leave-in it is great for you know the deep treatment with or without heat makes no difference it will bring your hair if you're having dryness problems it will snap your hair back into place especially for me um, a lot of um, high porosity girls love it too and they also love the um, the repair me so um, it's a versatile product that can be used I think on any hair type most of curl junkies products can be used on any hair type whatsoever um, on to leave-ins um, some of my favorite leave-ins my first holy grail leave-in was the um, the uh, I need glasses I'm blind y'all okay um, the cocoa bean curl smoothing cream and I should even know the name because I've been buying it for the longest this is by Darcy's Botanicals has a chocolate smell like chocolate devil's food cake very nice smell um, very thick this is a thick leave-in um, I usually um, I've had a couple of them and because I guess because they're handmade um, the consistency changes a little just just slightly from time to time but it is very very thick so sometimes I can put a pump on it 
and sometimes I cannot I have to leave it in the squeeze cap because it can be just too thick to get through the pump so that's another thing you want to consider um, when putting pumps on your bottles go ahead and give it a try it's not going to kill anything to give it a try you'll just take the pump off and make sure you keep the lid just so just in case it stops pumping on you um, but this is a great leave-in it uh, leaves my hair very moisturized it's, it absorbs into the hair I don't have any problem with buildup with it um, I've used it at times as a refresher um, have no problem with that at all that's the other thing I like in a leave-in I like a leave-in that I can use just to leave in and also to refresh my hair with because um, uh, leave-ins have a nice bit of oils and I will spray my hair with water and use a leave-in behind it and feel like I've sealed if it has a good bit of oils and butters in the leave-in itself another one that I love is the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Love Moisture Milk this is another one of my staples as you can see it's almost gone this also does did not come in with the pump I have placed the pump on this one love it love it love it use it it's like a cake smells like cake nice thick consistency um, but it can go through the pump um, I've never had a problem with this one going through the pump nice thick consistency um, works well refresher leave-in however you want to use it um, love that one also love the Belle Nouveau avocado and shea healthy hair milk another one of my staples Belle Nouveau in itself the line that everything I've tried three products from the line and all three products have become a staple for me um, they really help me uh, retain length I've gotten a lot less split ends as long as I have some Belle Nouveau in my hair um, to, after every wash cycle it can be it can be the hair milk it can be the nectar it can be the castor pudding styling as long as it's there's some Belle Nouveau in there I've had a, a very uh, good improvement in my split ends which I'm very proud to um, the other this is a leave-in like curl enhancing smoothie the Shea Moisture curl enhancing smoothie it does not enhance curls at least it doesn't for me um, this was actually when I first bought it I was transitioning and I was trying to get my curls to pop and I said oh this is curl enhancing smoothie this will pop you know help me get curls did not I thought the product like just didn't work um, I didn't buy it again for a long time and decided to revisit I have gone through a thousand jars of this stuff um, it is another staple this has a mm, uh, pineapple smell smells like all the Shea Moisture products pretty much um, it uh, is not to me so much a curly pudding as it is a uh, moisturizer it does retain moisture it's thick it's heavy has a nice consistency for some people it's too heavy and um, but as you can see it's like really thick everybody has seen curl enhancing smoothie I don't think I need to go into that a whole whole lot but it's really thick um, and I love it it's something I put in my hair almost every time I do my hair even if it's just a small amount to help me retain some moisture um, I mix it with the Belle Nouveau or another leave-in in my hands and just rub it through my hair um, the Oyen hairdo is another staple this works for me it can be used for me like I said in a previous video it has crunch to me it has some hold so it's a leave-in slash styler for me when I refresh my hair with it um, it'll smooth my hair and give me hold where I have to crunch it out a little bit which works because you know a lot of times when I'm uh, uh, refreshing if I'm in the, if I'm in the later stages of the game and it's like fourth day hair and I want to smooth it a little bit that'll do it for me so that works double duty as both a leave-in and a refresher okay then I have the Camille Rose curl aid moisture butter um, this is, is a styler it can be used for twists also cake most of her products do smell like cake pretty thick but it has a nice creamy thick consistency um, it is uh, very very uh, moisturizing for the hair it to me it compares to the curl enhancing smoothie um, my hair um, it doesn't sit on top it does absorb it will go on because it is thick it can go on kind of white at first but as your hair dries it will absorb into the hair um, never use it as a refresher or anything else just use it along with only on wash and go days on on wash day itself um 
Now let's see, on to stylers. All right, Land Shine and Define, talked about it before. It does shine, it does define, and I do love it. It is more of my spring summer product. I usually shelve it uh, in the fridge for the winter. Um, but I can use it in the winter, but it does have, I do believe it has glycerin, but um, um, I try to stay away from glycerin in the winter. Um, doesn't work as well for me. Um, when I like to do twists um, and things of that nature, I love the Basque Palm Tapioca. This has a Dolce de Leche scent to it, almost honey almond, like it's like an ice creamy scent, um, caramely, um, very nice, very thick. It is very thick. It's like butter almost, but it's still a cream at the same time. Um, it a uh, little bit goes a long way. I keep it in the fridge because I don't have to use it that often or that much. Um, it's too thick for me to be a leave-in or anything else, but I have heard of some ladies who have used it that way. Um, once again, do you because it's all of this journey is all about you and your hair. The Coco Castor Pudding by Belnuva. Now this is a styler. However, it's, this is like a leave-in. I mean, you put this on your hair and it is there's an immediate result, at least for me. It's like the moment this touches my hair, my fingers will just go right through. And that is unusual to me for a styler. Um, stylers a lot of times usually have a little bit of just a slight bit of pull because they have a holding quality to them. This to me does not have a holding quality. I must use a gel after this, but I love it for its moisturizing and its slip properties. It just, I don't know, it works for me. The ingredients are really quite simple and um, I bought it based on Curly Girl Jess's review because a lot of products that work for her work for me and um, so I said I'd give it a shot and it, I don't know if it's the formula, the amounts, but the it, it works quite well. Um, the other, another one I love is the Cocoa Curls. Um, I got this in a curl kit. I got the sample size and that's what I keep upstairs in my bathroom. I keep this nice big one that I bought afterward in the fridge because um, I have seen others where Cocoa Curls has molded. Um, rule of thumb though is that with a lot of your products, if you are not going to be getting to them, especially if they are handmade, homemade products, these products do not use uh, formaldehydes, time release, um, parabens. They don't use all of the chemicals. So it's going to have a shorter shelf life if you just keep it out and about. It's just that's the price you pay for a natural product. That's the price you pay for not putting formaldehyde on your head. Don't get mad. That's just the way it is. If you want a natural product, you got to have a natural preservative. And it's just the fact of life that the natural preservatives are not as strong as some man-made chemical that can be harmful to you. So keep, keep a lot of your stuff in the fridge. I'll take the top shelf of my door and use that for any hair products. So um, anything you have that you know is totally home ha handmade, you know, if you're not going to be getting to it for a while, if you need to keep it around for a year, then I would suggest you store it in the fridge. And like I said, I keep smaller containers from samples and things like that to take some out and keep some upstairs so I'm not running to the fridge every time I want to do my hair. Um, the other thing I like is the, uh, this is found on the ground, easy to come by, it is the Cantu Shea um, Coconut Curling Cream. And I do love this. Um, this does have a cone in it. This is not Curly Girl friendly. Um, it smells like, um, like pina colada. Um, nice smell, nice scent, has a nice consistency. It's, this one's more on the creamy side than, the, than some of the others. Um, but it shines the hair, it smooths the hair, it's probably the cone in there that does that. But um, when I want that perfect, um, perfect curl look when I'm doing coils or anything like that to create ringlets, this is my go-to. Um, and it does not interfere, it plays nice. All of my products pretty much play nice with each other. I do not like products that I have to tweak and do it this way, do it that way. You can't use this, you got to use that. I, I don't have time for that. I like to mix and match. I don't use all of anything from one line in my hair most of the time. I have done it just for experimental purposes. 
but I like to mix and match depending on what my hair needs that week when I'm washing my hair. Is it dry? Is it already moisturized? Do I need protein? I go by those type of things. So one line doesn't work for me. Refreshers and leave-ins that are liquid. Um, I love the Alake Naturals lemongrass leave-in. I love this stuff. Um, I love the smell. Um, it, it's lemony, but not quite the pine solly smell that, that the creme brulee seems to have to me. Um, um, it works very well. It is liquid in the bottle, and Belle Nouveau is the same, but they, when you spray them on, they sort of become like a lotion, a wet lotion, but a lotion nonetheless. Um, I, I like to use that to refresh as well. Um, I think this has a bit of protein in it too. Not quite sure on that and the writing on here is extremely small on this little bottle for me to read right now. But I do like to use this to refresh as well as um, to be one of the first things I put on my hair after I've rinsed out my conditioners. Um, I do the same with the Coco Castor Nectar from Belle Nouveau. It sprays on very much like the Alake Naturals. It's actually a little thicker and for this formula I had to add a little bit of water to it because the pump will get um, clogged and it's simple to just rinse it, rinse it off. You don't have to like go through a whole bunch of stuff. Just take it, run this under some water and you're, you're pumping again. But um, it's thicker than um, the Alake Naturals and I think he has changed the formula a little bit to thin it down a little bit so it's not so you don't get that problem with the pump. Um, sealing. I use oils for sealing for the most part. Um, uh, I make my own mixes. I buy oils and I've shown you some of my broccoli seed oil, carrot seed oil, grape seed oil. Um, coconut oil is a big thing for me. Um, jojoba oil and castor oil. I just make my own oil mixes. Um, I also buy fragrances and things so if I want to scent it I scent it but for the most part I think that any oils that I'm using to seal or even possibly rub on my scalp should be unscented. I don't want to rub fragrance oil on my scalp. I want to I want all natural oils on my scalp as far as um, sealing with um, pomades. My hands down pomade is the burnt sugar pomade from Oyen my favorite all-time favorite it shines my hair it's almost my it's very reminiscent of hair grease I grew up with hair grease I kind of even at times miss hair grease um, but um, this this gives me my hair grease fix almost um, it's thick it's heavy it's great for sealing the ends um, however it doesn't really weigh my hair down as long as I use it sparingly um, don't have a problem with that. Now on to the last thing, yes, is gels. Um, as far as gels, uh, aloe vera. I use different types of aloe vera. This is Lily of the Desert and the other one is Mill Creek Botanicals. As long as it is 99% aloe, pure aloe vera gel and it's clear I use it. The green gels are fine if that's what you want to use. I have no problem with it. It's just that that's a dye and I don't want to dye in my hair and most of the most times when I'm using aloe vera gel it's for my edges. Um, it's um, in my when I make my flaxseed gel I put aloe vera in my flaxseed gel um, and it's uh, I've used it when I started my journey I had lost a lot of my edges um, and what edges I did have were really short and I needed to lay them down but I didn't want to use a hard gel even like an eco styler because I was afraid it would make my edges brittle and cause them to break off I started trying castor oil the castor oil was too thick and around I can use castor oil on my scalp in the middle of my head but around the edges it gave it broke me out no matter whether I diluted it or not it just did not work out for me so what I started doing was using aloe vera gel and tying my hair up to lay my edges down um, and my edges grew like crazy I, I mean in months my edges were just every time every time I would could do this that for a while I didn't even have baby hair it was like there was no baby hair it was all long hair so um, using this 
help me grow my edges back. Um, another alternative for those who cannot use castor oil or you know castor oil is too thick or it bothers your scalp or irritates you. Aloe vera gel 99% pure is a great alternative to try to regrow your edges. Um, of course there is my own homemade flaxseed gel. This is just in a body wash bottle and uh, one of my own pumps. Um, I make my own flaxseed gel um, on the stove and I add aloe vera gel to it. I add oils depending on what my hair needs at the time. This lasts me, oh, this lasts me about a month. I do use Optifin Plus in it in order to keep it. Um, this can last me a month. It's cheap to make. It's pennies on the dollar as far as making it. You only need a little quarter of a cup which is really a few tablespoons and this makes two cups of gel. This is a 16 ounce bottle um, and um, I get all this gel for a little bit. Um, so uh, I also use my broccoli seed oil and carrot seed oils in here. I fortify it so that although the flax seeds are fortified in themselves there's some extra and it works like a sealant as well with the oils in it. Another gel that I do like that I use quite sparingly this is the Quilly Head Chicks Hair Perfection. This gel right here um, on my fine hair, um, I've seen a lot of ladies use it by itself, you know, just a leave-in and hair perfection. Doesn't work for me that way. Um, it's too strong for me. Um, and that, I, that's one of the things I like about it is its strength because for a section, I mean, I literally use, I'm trying to get it maybe that much for an entire section of my hair and that's all I need that is more than enough that is plenty um, anything beyond that my hair is has so much hold that it feels like it's brittle and going to break her scent on this is honey almond um, it is uh, a very popular scent although not my favorite scent but um, I'll take it. Um, it it works very well in any humidity any any type of climate, any type of this, this will do you. This will really uh, give you some nice hold and shine. This gel will give you some beautiful, beautiful bling bling to your hair. My hair often looks dry. I just told, I'm always telling you my hair is dry. This will give you some bling bling. I really like that gel. Now for um, slick styles, which I don't do often, um, when I don't have the time, to use aloe vera gel and tie my hair up in the whole nine yards if you know I'm going out on the spur of the moment I just want to throw my hair back I do like the Apro Pro, Pro Style Olive Oil Gel this gel works great it doesn't leave me brittle it doesn't leave me hard it doesn't leave my hair feeling dry it lays down my edges without me having to tie them down or anything of that nature um, and it's it this is also one of my favorite gels so i think that's about it i think this video is long enough i'm going to end it here if you have any questions please 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 ask um i will try to put links to everything i've talked about in the description box if there's something i forget to link or something you want to know about a link to let me know and i will talk to you later later bye, -bye.